mastering the SAT math sections, calculators and more. Hello learners! Today, we're diving into the SAT math test, specifically focusing on understanding the calculator and no calculator sections. By the end of this video, you'll be well equipped with strategies to tackle both sections with confidence. The SAT math test is divided into two distinct sections. 1. No calculator section. This section tests your mathematical abilities without the use of a calculator. 2. Calculator section. As the name suggests, you can use a calculator for this part. It's designed to test how well you use computational tools. It's essential to know when and how to use your calculator effectively, and when to rely on your raw mathematical intuition and skills. In the No Calculator section, focus on mental arithmetic and basic algebraic manipulations. Practice quick arithmetic calculations to save time. Look for patterns and relationships rather than diving into complex calculations. Estimation can be your friend. Sometimes, rounding numbers to get an approximate answer can help you eliminate wrong answer choices. Remember, you don't have a calculator, so the test is designed with problems that are manageable without one. Trust your abilities. In the calculator section, Know your calculator's functions. Ensure you're familiar with how to input complex calculations, utilize functions like trigonometry, and solve for unknowns. Don't over-rely on your calculator. Just because you can use it doesn't mean you always should. Assess if it's quicker to solve without it. Double-check your entries. A simple typo can lead to incorrect solutions. Use it for checking answers. If you're unsure about your manual calculation, validate it with your calculator. Practice, practice, practice. Familiarity with question types is key. Always read the question carefully. Ensure you understand what's being asked before starting to solve. Pace yourself. Remember, it's about accuracy and speed. Don't spend too much time on a single question. It's okay to skip and come back if needed. Bring an approved calculator and make sure it's fully charged or has fresh batteries. You don't want technical glitches during the test. There you have it. Now you know the distinctions between the calculator and no calculator sections of the SAT math test, and you're armed with strategies for both. Remember, Success on the SAT comes with understanding the test structure and lots of practice. We hope this video has been helpful, and we wish you all the best on your SAT journey.